Hey everyone, how's it going? Well, today I got the 2096 hooked up to the baler. We're not going to use this tractor to run this baler, but um, it was handy. So, uh, we I put on the PTO shaft. Um, I ran the baler. It actually runs pretty good. Uh, oiled all the chains. With, uh, I used, uh, what is it? Food film, love that stuff. And uh, tighten the chain here a little bit. Got it all lubed up, greased, everything. I've got a cover coming for that. Right now though, I'm in the process of changing teeth. And there are a lot of broken teeth with uh, just single, one tooth broke on them all the time. So uh, I bought a few teeth from John Deere. These black ones are actually AI teeth. It's, they're just as good, but they're cheaper. And I had some spare teeth left over from the 566. So the five, I have 535 teeth left over, but they're garbage. I should have actually sent them away with the baler because I don't need them anymore. So I got the two new ba uh, bands or strippers to put on there. I like calling them bands. I hate calling them strippers. But anyway, so I got most of the ones that I need to get off. I got that one stripper to get off there. And I'm in the process. I put a few new teeth on there, as you can see. Uh, this is definitely a lot harder to put uh, teeth on than the older balers because you've got your accelerator roll here that's in the way. Usually the pickup would have been right here where this is. So you've got to reach down in there more and stuff, more stuff is in the way. So it's a little bit harder, but it takes a little more time. Definitely two people is easier. You get one to hold the wrench on your bolts on the nut and one guy to run the impact. It actually goes faster, but I'm alone today. So Sean has gone to his niece's birthday party and uh, yeah, so it's just me here today. And it's kind of, it didn't rain today, but it's really cloudy again. So we're supposed to get like 60% chance of showers every day. So hopefully it doesn't. It just stays like that. Because it's time to make some hay. And I'm uh, really jonesing to get going. It'd be fun to do some hay for a change here now. But yeah, I'm going to continue on this. That's hail. Give it a hail. When it's pouring, hey everyone. Well, back at her today. Uh, Stop working on the baler because well what do you know it rained so that's not surprising anyway i went back to work on the mx135 here and i finally finally got this tire off and uh it was a struggle i pulled all the studs out still wouldn't come off. So I ended up grinding the hub all the way around because it seemed like it was just getting stuck on here really tight. So I ground it all the way around and finally it came off. So now that I got it off, I can now split this in half. And I got the first half of the bear. This one had stripped on me so I'm going to have to weld the nut to it. Like that and then turn off the wrench. So I've got my trusty little 110 welder here. This thing comes in really handy. I like it. And I'm gonna attempt to uh, take that uh, Allen screw out. Okay, I welded that nut to her and it's hot right now. So I'm gonna have to get another get another uh, 
Allen's groove on here because you can't have this bolt here because the rim fits flush against here so so what has happened I'm thinking is a tooth let go or part of the bearing let go and uh, there was a, it it popped a hole through here I ground heated it up and ground it down before and uh, so I know this part is hooped so I'm just actively searching for a used one and I did uh, check what a new one is worth right now and actually a new might be the way to go because if I can save this half because this is two separate halves here um, if this part's okay I might only need this part and whatever is wrong in there but if the bearing is gone uh, I had the other side let go one year and uh, the casting broke where the bearing sits in so I had to get the whole new but yeah so hopefully we'll see what happens it's gonna split apart right now See this ring gear broke. These look okay. Put your crud in there. Steel. Okay, so I got it open and it's a mess in there. So there's a bunch of junk in there. There's, the the seal is gone. The seal is gone and that's from twine getting in there. Twine is real bastard on these guys. And uh, so it lost most of the oil. So I can see this ring gear has broken right there so we're gonna need a ring gear we'll see what we can save in here it's pretty messy but definitely gonna need new bearings so yeah we'll get this all cleaned up here
race is good. So that means this whole thing is Hey everyone, how's it going? Well, I just went and checked the hay and it is dry. Hay's out there and Sean is coming. I did want to try the 568 baler, but there is an error code on the monitor and John Deere is getting back to me yet, which kind of sucks because I want to try it out here, but gotta get this bailed up because we got uh, a little shower coming. So we raked this just a little while ago. I don't know, for two hours ago Sean raked it. And uh, she's good to go. Yeah, so it's dusting. At least if it's dusting, you know it's good. It might be a little bit tough behind that trees there. I don't know, it might feel a sprinkle here right away. If it is gonna rain, it's not gonna be but a few sprinkles just to make it down. Oh, so it's gonna bail. of 2020 and it's sprinkling there probably is a little bit of tough stuff right there because it didn't get uh didn't get the wind there yeah it's pretty nice It is sprinkling, so that sucks. Well, got a little shower, and that's probably all we're going to get, just enough to stop us maybe for today, which kind of sucks. It would be nice to bail it up, but Sean's coming back home now. So, that's strike one with the 568. It's uh, definitely a wiring issue. I was just talking to the dealer. And uh, yeah, we're going to get that straightened out tomorrow. So, uh, you know, this was a little bit sketchy here when I, I took the, the loom here off and it was pulling, the wire was pulling back out of the plug and pulling the pins out. So I got it taped up tight there. But uh, yeah, you know, it's giving me uh, error code E2. 01 which uh, means that your bales well according to I don't have a book for this one they didn't give me a book um, I was looking off my 560 book and it says that it's a bale uh, the bale not the shape but the diameter sensor or the gate sensor I'm not sure which one it was now but yeah, so you with the when that's like that you can't bail. So yeah, we see what happens tomorrow. So I guess I should tell you everything I did. 
Uh, I've got the, we put pretty much all new teeth except for the ones that were not broke at all. There was a few teeth that were broken, just single teeth broke off. So uh, we left those ones, but we put all new uh, teeth that were broke either completely or just one missing. And I got the new stripper bands in there. And we also put a few of those bands in there as well. Those plastic deals there. Uh, there was some net wrap caught in them and we took them apart to clean it out and we couldn't get some of them apart uh, because the, there's a bolt as you can see right on top there there's a nut that's molded into the plastic and it was stripped so we had to grind it out and uh, uh, get new ones so those are three or four new ones there and uh, that's all done there so Everything's pretty much ready to go. I did did have a little bend right there where somebody got plugged up with a big slug of hay and the teeth were actually hitting. So we straightened that out and that's all good. Um, what else? Oh yeah, I did change the spring on the, on the kicker. So that's all brand new there. It's all greased, ready to go. And uh, yeah. And get that wiring issue figured out it should be good because the weather might uh, take a turn for good for once like it's you can see it's sunny now it was only like for 10 minutes not even for now talk to you again soon leave your comments down below and we'll see you later